Hey guys, AJ Bots here with our game video. Today we're going to be playing the new game out on Xbox called Car Mechanic Simulator. So let's get straight into it. Alright, today we're going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator. And if you're wondering why I don't hear anything, it's because I have the volume off. Because Car Mechanic Simulator plays dubstep music and I just do not want to get copyrighted if it is. So today we're going to be working on this, um... This is actually supposed to be a Ford Cobra, but they don't want to get copyrighted, so they made their own version. I just finished this one right here. I just finished this one. This was my first one. I found it at a junkyard, and I um, got it finished up. It doesn't have a hood on it because of the big engine. But, alright, we're going to go ahead and start taking stuff off right now. Took the rim off. We're going to try to save as much as we can. And then just put the, what we can save it onto the car. And what we can't, we'll just buy parts for it. I don't feel like it's going to be a lot we can save. But it looks like it's going. We're taking off the suspension right now. No, dang it. No suspension. Alright. Right now we need to take these off. So um, let's go ahead and take the outer tire rod off. And then these things down here. Oh, we need to take the double wishbone shock absorber out. And then, where's that? I want to take that out. The sway bar in. Now the bottom suspension arm. I'm going to take that out. We're literally just going to do a rebuild of this thing. I'm just going to rebuild it, paint it, and then start for the right there. Your entire rod, take that out. All right, all right, we're gonna have to get started. We're taking suspension off first, and then we're then after we take suspension off, I'm gonna lift, lower the car down on the car lift, and start taking out the engine. Some of the engine we're gonna have to take out from under it, and we're gonna, we might just pull the engine out with the, um the engine crane. So that's what I'm thinking of doing, is just pulling the engine out of the engine crane. Crap. Well, I got everything off of that side, so let's go ahead and start taking off this side. Where's the bearing? The bearing. Oh, we need to take the caliber off. And the pads. Then we start taking this stuff off. There. Alright. Now we just need to take the double additional shock absorber out. So, if I could not finish this thing in one video, which is probably not going to be possible, in tomorrow's video, we're going to um, try to finish this thing. I already have lots of cars done, but since I wanted to get this one done, so that's what we're doing. Alright. I'll press the suspension arm, take that out. Okay. So I just need one more rubber um, bushing out. Then we can take this suspension off. Sway bar can go off. And the steering rack can go off. Alright, we took the front suspension off. We're going to start with the front and then work our way to the back. So let's open the hood. Our engine crane. Engine crane's close to my car. We, my first car I made. So move equipment. Car lift. No, not shop entrance. Move equipment. Car lift for B, I think. Yes, it's car lift for B. I want to pull out. Remove the VAOHV gearbox from the car. Okay, we gotta lift back up, remove the gearbox before we pull the whole engine out, so. Alright, let's take a look at the nerd who no not install. No not that either. Okay. I need to take the gearbox out. But I need to take the drive shaft out first, so the drive shaft looks in good condition, but we're still gonna replace it with a new one. Alright, now can I take it out? Yes I can. Alright. Gearbox is out. 
we're just gonna put a custom gearbox in. And we're gonna build a custom engine, so. Engine crane gear, no, pull out. There, we have stripped the car from it, and I need to take the brake servo out. Radiator, and the battery. I'm gonna go charge the battery. See, now there's no engine. Now we're just gonna lift it back up there and start doing rear. Then we're gonna start on the stall, stalling just the battery charger. Charge battery. Yes, start charging that battery while I go see what I can save of this thing at the repair bench. What can I save? Oh, lots of this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and try try to we're gonna repair everything that I could save. And just when we um get back to start repairing the front end of the car, we're going to um put all the stuff that I could save in there. Wow, I could put the regular the gearbox back in up to it, so put it on back down in them. Let's get in. Ah, uh, that part mount. Can I save the engine block? No. Right servo. Yep, there we go. What about the radiator? Yep, got a new radiator. The ignition coil B. Got one in there. All right, I need an engine block for a V8 OHV, so. We're gonna go, go get an engine block from here, so engine. Okay. Or in engine. Where is the engine block? Engine. That's engine heads. I don't have engine blocks. What they did. Uh, so I thought I was going to make this faster, but no, we got to go to the main part and go engine block. Okay. And Engine block for V8 OHE. There it is. I just I'm in sandbox mode, so I don't I don't lose money when I do this. There we got that in. We're just gonna put everything that we can. Do we have a battery? No. Nope. Yeah, I forgot. I put the battery on the battery charger. Uh, I guess the tires are wider. Glitch it through there. Battery from battery charger. All right, maybe I can go ahead and put the battery in. Not the brake servo. Battery. Yep. Put the battery in. We're gonna start having to order stuff probably, and we're gonna have to lift it up. Alternator. Got a good alternator. Put that in. We're gonna. To... Yeah, I'm gonna have to um lift it up to put all this stuff on the water pump. Or just a steering pump, I think it said. What's that? Fuel filter. Alright, we need a fuel filter. So, so look up fuel. I know I got a good pump, fuel pump. So I don't need that. So I just need a fuel filter. There, see. Oh, first all that. Uh, crankshafts. Yeah, we're going to have to lift it up. Should camshaft. I need a camshaft. So just put in your hand and we'll find a camshaft we need. Camshaft. I'll like this one just in case if they all have the VAOHG one. Alright, I'll bolt two just in case. Uh, yeah, it's VAOHG. There. Cam gear. Alright. Cam gear for V8 OHV. There it is. Alright. There. Alright. Oh, I didn't see the top right there. The ignition distributor. So. Ignition distributor. Alright, the radiator rotor and cap. I don't have the cap. Let's get the cap. Alright, yeah, this is what we need. I've already put the induction coil B in. I don't know. 
there. Alright, and then the pistons. Oh, I need to put the cam shaft in. Alright. We put the much, much, much as I can could from the top on top of the car. So now we're gonna have to do it from the bottom of it, so we're not gonna do that yet. I'm gonna put the crate shaft in. I need a crate shaft, so we're gonna go to the store and get the crate shaft. There it is. This, is this what I need it? Yep. And there's the... What do I need? Oh, the key. The timing chain. V8 OHP. But I can't put that under the car. So, piston with cod rod. Piston with cod rod. Camshaft bearing cap. I need a couple of those, so... And I need the pistons too. And shaft bearing cap. And shaft bearing cap. Camp fast cap. Yeah, Alright. Where's the cash has bearing cap? Maybe it's just the camshaft cap. Oops so. There it is. Oh that's the crankshaft. Never mind. I was looking for the crankshaft. There. Put that in. Mainly, I'm just going to try to fix up the engine most as I can in this video. And then, the things I cannot um, fix up, I will um, get back to. Alright, oil filter. Oil filter for a V8, right? So, the V8 OHC. There it is. Yep, got the right one. There. Now we need to get up and put some um, these things in, but I need to put the flywheel and stuff in. And I would just do a custom good gearbox. I need one of those, and then I need all the clutch stuff for it. Clutch. Clutch plate, clutch presser plate, and clutch release bearing. Put the flywheel in. Put the clutch plate in. And you put the clutch pressure plate in. Screw that in. And then you put the clutch release bearing. There you go. And then this is where you can put your gearbox. The gearbox VA OHP. We're not going to put that in there. We're going to go to the custom gearbox shop right here. And get a V8 OHV a custom gearbox. If I can find one. V yeah they have them yep V eight O H V or is it a V eight I think it's a V eight is it a V eight no it's V eight O H V they hit V eight O H V alright can box there it is the custom one go ahead and roll. the starter we need a starter so not there. Can I go to the body tuner shop and they would have one? Starter. No, they don't. So I have to go to the main part. Alright, main shop. Put a custom gearbox in there. Put some other stuff in. Star. Starter. Starter V8. Alright, there we go. Starter. Alright, we got the starter in. This is where the drive shaft can go. Do I have a good drive shaft? Yes, I do. There we go. We can just put the drive shaft in. What else can I put up under here that I can go ahead and get? I can get the front suspension cross member. Yep. Yep, that works. And you can put this stuff in. Right, why not? While we're doing this, let's just go ahead and put in everything else. Except for tires, because 
I don't have the tires yet. Alright, the rubber bushing. Now, do I have a sway bar right now? Or the sway bar? No. I don't. That's a bad one. I don't know who put that in. Do I have an air tire rod? That's good. I can see. No, none of them are good that I have. I'll just put in what I can do. Just put in the suspension right here. There. Alright. Alright. Now we're going to lift it down and do some more stuff with the engine. Part I want to get done is just like some of the engine and then just keep it for another video, like the pistons and stuff. Like, I don't think this car had pistons. I didn't. You know, pistons kind of something you can um, bump the thing up with or not. Let's look. Pistons. Three pistons. Ignition wires up yeah, there. Yeah, piston the con rod. Uh, I think we just need these. Four of those. The worst uh, things for. I have to get regular lines for it with spark plugs. We only need like seven of those. What these were? Piston and con rod. Alright, I need piston rings. So I need to go to the um, regular um, shop. This is probably the last thing we're going to do in the video. And then we're just going to um, end it off. Piston. Piston rings. So let's just get five of those. Because I think I've got five of piston. There. Should I put that in? I'm just, I, can I put that piston in? There, do I have pistons on this side? Yes, I do. Ooh, engine head. I can buy two engine heads while I go to the volume tuning shop, so just buy a couple more of those. Then let's go to the tuning shop. Where I have these. I just need four more. Where's the engine heads at? For each? I think I have to go up. Engine head, engine head, engine head. Where's the engine head? It's VAOHP. There it is. Two of those. Okay. Alright. There we go. And bingo done. Now we just put the engine heads on. Alright, we're just going to put the engine heads on and then that's probably going to be the end of this video. Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next video.